Hello, hello, Sagittarius, and welcome into Speak Life. My name is Mia. Today, we are going to be pulling messages for what you need to be focused on right now. Um, as of next week, I will be changing the channel's name to Dragon Spirit. So if you have not taken a chance to subscribe to my channel, please do so at this time, okay? Um, so yeah, welcome in. Please, universal energies for Sagittarius. What some of you need to be focused on. Let me get three messages. Three messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. There we go. Okay. So I feel some of you are being shifted in a different direction. I feel that you need to be concentrated at this time that there is going to be movement that is going to send you in a different direction. Um, some of you may have been in a place where it has been burdensome, um, you know, with this tower, you know, or this building or whatever we, we want to call this, okay, a transporter. Okay, it's heavy, it's heavy. You know, with the stripes here of the zebra, I feel that there is a two-way situation here for some of you. However, I do feel that with, a, the, you know, a change in the winds, some of you have already planned out what is it that you are going to do, where you are going to go, but the universe has other plans for you. I don't know if you can see, but it's snowing outside and it looks really pretty. <laughs> I'm just hoping the lake doesn't freeze. Um, yeah, because if not, somebody out there is going to be making some noise with those motorbikes. Okay, so you also have here regeneration. Okay, so I feel that for some of you, there has been a situation here that has taken you down to the ground. You know, and I feel that it is time for you to focus more on what is it that you are going to do from now on with this brand new rebirth. You know, some of you may have felt that you were burnt, you know, and you know, there is still light at that end of the tunnel, you know, um, with the, with the reju regeneration here. I don't know, did I say rejuvenation? Regeneration, okay, still the same thing, still the same meaning, okay, I don't care, that's what I'm gonna do. You know, so like I said, a rebirth in your life, coming back from a place where you was clearly not where you were supposed to be. Some of you could have been part of the dark for a while, you know, with the never ending story. Some of you are exhausted, you know, focus on what it is that you are going to do to get yourself out of this. I'm hearing vicious cycle, you know, for some of you, there's something here that you continue to do with someone and the universe is basically letting you know that it is time to change your your direction. You know, now is the time, you know, for a rebirth and not a repeat, okay? So I feel that with the never ending story here, some of you need to realize that it is time to get yourself out of this TikTok um, repeating cycle. You know, learn the lessons that need to be learned so that you can get on with your life instead of staying like this, you know, sad. Okay, maybe, you know, I can't take this anymore. You know, this could be going through some type of anxiety situation, anxiousness, you know, um, and it's just staying in a bad place. So I feel that for some of you, it is time. The universe will shift you eventually for those of you that have the fear of moving on to other places. Listen, it's a new beginning. Take advantage of it because it's here, okay? So let's see what we have for you, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please, universal energies. Let me get three messages. Three messages. The universe. You got the world. What I said, it's a brand new beginning. This is a whole new different chapter. You know what? Don't even, it's not even a chapter. It's like an entire book. It's a transition. It's moving forward from a place. Okay, this is finally getting to the ends of the journey and saying, oh my God, thank the Lord that I have mastered everything that I have had to master. 
you know, some of you could have been in very ugly places for some time, you know, for some of you, I'm hearing 12 years, you know, so take that as it fits. For others of you, it could be three years, you know, um, you know, one and two is three. So take it as it fits. Not everybody's going to have the same thing. I also have here for your recent past change. Some of you decided, you know what, it's time to balance out this energy. I, 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 this is not... Usually when I see the two of pentacles, I really don't see it with like these big horns. And to me, that's kind of like a symbolism. Some of you could have been dealing with a karmic relationship, somebody who was, you know, on the devilish side. And now it's like some of you are being shifted away from that. You know, some of you have made a decision. You know what? It's time to move on. I'm ready to graduate. I'm ready to start a brand new yellow brick road, you know? So, please, universal energies. Let me get one more, and then we're gonna, gonna clarify. You have here the Princess of Swords, okay? For some of you, there could be somebody here that may be spying, okay? Somebody could be spying on you. Um, you know, um, I feel that this person could be seeing your upglow, you know? So, let's see. <clears throat> please, universal energies. Why is the universe here? For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please, Universal Energies, Spirit Guides, Ancestors. Why is the world, the universe here for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Ace of Pentacles. I'm going to tell you, some of you are going to have a brand new opportunity. This is going to be something to work on. I'm going to tell you, for some of you, this could also be a, a change in career, okay? For those of you that are not, you know, starting off a, a new situation that's going to bring you stability either way, you know? So some of you, I'm just picking up that some of you could be moving away from a certain job, something that you don't want to do over again, something that you've become tired of. You know, you're like, maybe I should look outside and look at new opportunities, you know? This could be love. It could be money. Some of you are willing to put the work in to find some new love. And the Ace of Wands. What did I say? This is passion. It's not really love, but it's some type of deep passion. It's something that is a desire for you. It's something, you know, that you would like to take action on. And you're like, you know what? This is what I am going to do. You know, so um, some of you could be looking again at new opportunities. You have here two aces and a universe. Hello. Like, is that not major change in a whole new different direction? You know, <clears throat> why is the ace of wands here? Ace of wands. Why is it here? Please, universal energies, spirit guides, ancestors, four Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. <clears throat> <clears throat> there we go two of wands gorgeous listen it's time to plant new seeds okay if you have burnt if like let's say if you never water your garden and the grass is brown listen it's time to start watering the garden so that you can start the fruits of your labor, you know, and, and with the two of wands, it's time to make the plans. It's time to water the grass so that you can reap the rewards of what you work on. You know, um, when you do not make you, I, you all, I always, oh my God, I can't talk. I always feel that you need to have a plan. You need to have something in place. You just like every time that I go out, um, I, I ask my husband, where are we going? I need to have a destination. I need to have somewhere that I'm going to stop in. I just can't randomly go out and just you know, drive up, drive up and down the streets. I need to have a destination. I need to know. So like that, some, you know, so you make your plans, you know, you make new things come for you, you know, build new things. Why is it two? Uh, okay, let's see. Um, two of wands, clarified by the knight of wands. Okay, I'm going to tell you, I feel that some of you worked very hard in your journey. And I feel that for some of you, you're taking baby steps. I feel like, you know, you could have been dealing for some of you, you could have been dealing with somebody 
who was a little shady. You know, the Knight of Wands is somebody that kind of comes in. I call him the sex, the sex person, you know, um, you know, the, the toy that kind of comes in and plays for a little while and kind of disappears, you know, and I feel that this is what you were dealing with, you know, and you're like, you know what? I'm so over that. That is not something that I want to do. You know, some of you, I feel are aiming yourselves into a better you, you know, for those of you that did not see that reading that I did yesterday on soul alignment, um, it had, um, what was it? It was something about, um, elevating yourself, you know, um, oh my God, I can't even remember now. Anyway, go take a look at it. It was from yesterday. Okay. So some of you are dealing with some, we're dealing with somebody like you are high and some of you are dealing with somebody who just kind of comes in and out and they're not really stable, you know, and I feel that for some of you, you know, you are willing to put in the work that it's going to take for you to build whatever it is that you're going to work on. You know, whether this is a relationship, whether it's um, a career, okay, take it as it fits. Why is the two of disc here? Two of disc, why is it here? Seven of swords. I'm going to tell you, some of you were dealing with somebody in the past. You knew that you needed to change because this person was lying and cheating behind your back. This is why some of you are not too enthusiastic about repeating this cycle. This is why some of you are ready to step away from this fuckery. Because let me tell you, the Seven of Swords is also a fuckery card. It's filled with drama. It's filled with lies and betrayal and cheating and a whole bunch of other things. And some of you are like, I'm not doing that again. Okay, I'm not doing that again. Okay, like I said, rebirth instead of repeat okay so let's see what was this person lying about let me see if we can get something for that seven of swords these cards i love them but they're so heavy um page of wands so i feel like this person you know was not really honest with you i feel that you know they kind of just didn't really know if they wanted to give the if it to give you their all with the page of wands i feel that this was a situation that you, they barely gave let me tell you they barely gave okay they barely gave anything to this situation this is why some of you are moving up okay move up and out of this energy let the change in the wind with the help of the universe listen let them blow you to the other side of the universe okay why is the princess of swords here please universal energy spirit guides ancestors princess of swords please universal energies for sagittarius sun moon rising and venus okay I got one here, the hangman and the moon. Open up your eyes. Some of you are going to discover something by spying on someone. Okay. And I'm not, I don't even know how else to say that. Okay. With the moon energy here, I'm going to let you know right now that some of you are going to discover something about this lie. You know, this could, let me see the hangman. Listen, don't self-sabotage your journey, okay? Continue on. Sorry about that. Continue on because these are the things that are coming for you, okay? You need to work on this. Do not stay stuck in this energy. The universe right now is giving you a chance to um, move yourself forward. However, there is a portion of you that will feel like you can't start this new beginning. Like you're going to self-sacrifice your own self because there's a truth that you need to find out. Listen, what goes around comes around, Sagittarius, you know, and when you step away from all these ugly situations that are surrounding you right now, you're going to open up a brand new beginning, a couple of brand new beginnings that is going to bring you something even more beautiful. I want, I want to pull out one more, one last one. So don't self-sacrifice. Don't try to wait around for somebody, you know, cause I'm going to tell you, you're going to miss out on the two of cups. Okay. So, um, for some of you, this is what's coming toward you. Okay. Be focused on 
the fact that there is a chapter here that you need to close. Listen, there's a book that you need to close in order for <clears throat> a soulmate to come in. This soulmate is making their way back to you or toward you. And you should not find yourself in a messy, okay? This is messy. This is messy, lying, cheating situation, okay? Some of you do not want to find yourselves there when this serious love of your life comes in, okay? okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, I need water. <laughs> All right, so you know what? I am going to leave this here with the two of cups. I think that's beautiful. Um, the Ace of, of, of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, you know, beautiful cards. The past was a little, you know, shitty, but I'm going to tell you right now that, you know, for those of you that really tried to move away and focus on moving, moving forward, you know, stop looking back, okay? Stop looking back. However, I just feel like some of you are going to have a hard time moving on unless you find out what these secrets are. Don't get yourself caught in this web because you know what? Love is coming in. All right. So Sagittarius, I'm going to leave this here. Thank you so much and take care.